Hey everybody, welcome back. Check it out. Here we have the HTRC T400 Pro dual charger. Um, this is a touchscreen charger, which is really cool. It'll do all your battery types. You can see here. Comes in some nice packaging. Here's a bunch of specs here. Um, and you guys can look that up, but uh, here's how it's packaged. I have not even opened it yet. You get some love. Here is the charger. That's pretty cool. Not huge, which is nice. You gotta let it compact. Got your plugs all on there. there would be a manual. There's a little cover for something, spare part. Okay, so that's all that's in the box. So here you've got your power cord to plug into the back of this baby. You've got your two little balance ports, I guess you'd call them. And then you've got two one-size-fits-all dongles. So you've got your T-plug, here's a Traxxas plug, got your XT60, you got your uh, little ones for your flight packs, JST, and I always forget what these are called, EC3. <laughs> and then you've got your, I don't know, it looks too small, but whatever your little RC car plugs are, stuff like that. But anyways, you got two of those, and you've got one here, so you can run it. Is that DC? Yep. So you got your DC plug, and it also has a PC link. I don't not something I'll ever use, but so AC DC charger. Um, let me get it plugged in and we'll get a couple batteries here and we'll scroll through some menus. All right, we've got everything plugged in, all the dongles and stuff. Um, got it hooked up to power. I have not turned it on yet. Um, so let's do that and hopefully you guys can see the screen as it powers up. There you go. So you got your option of LiPo, Life, all sorts of different things. It even has a button for Smart, NICAD, Nickel, Metal, Memory, Monitor. So we got lots of options here. You guys can do whatever you want with it. Um, pretty sweet. So let's hook up a battery and see if we can charge it. So here's what I use in my X Max. I use two batteries. So this will be sweet. I can do two at one time. Um, I do have the XT90 converted down to the um, Traxxas TRX plug, so we'll go ahead and plug that baby in here. Just a little snap, not bad. Then we'll plug this here into the 4S port. Links down below in the description for everything. All right, everybody, we've got the battery plugged in here. Um, so you got to choose channel one, channel two. So you can see highlighted here is channel one. I hope you can see that. I'm plugged into channel two. So we'll select channel two. Monitor, and it'll tell you where your battery's at right now. And you can choose balance, it'll balance them up. So you can see one was a little high, one was a little low. So that's pretty cool. We'll stop and back. Let's go back here. So LiPo, um, 4S, it already picked all the stuff we want to do. If we want to go to a storage, which I do. It says battery cell 2S, so you might have to manually choose this one. Let's we'll see what it does here. There it goes. So now it'll balance charge those. Pretty simple to use, everything's self-explanatory. I really love the touch screen, it's really easy to touch. Um, let's see if I can get you guys to zoom in on that a little better. Try to get some of the glare off, let me try. Which one's the bad one? 
Uh, it's bouncing off the ceiling. Can you turn that light off, bud? <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about. You can see the screen is really easy to see and awesome. It's doing its little update deal there. What does cell do? So you can choose this, show you cells individually. It's got a timer going. Very cool. All right, we'll let that roll and we'll come back once it's done and we'll see what it says. All right, while that one is balance charging, which is still doing its thing here, I'm gonna put my trusty Saipom 3S2200 on channel one and let's see what we can do there. Go back, there'll be a LiPo. It's on auto, um, auto detect there, so we'll pull the cover off of that. Hook that up. Everybody has 3S2200s. Let's see here, make sure everything is plugged in correctly. Okay, so channel two, or channel one, sorry, we're on that. Balance charge, there it already picked 3S, it detected that. Um, discharge current, or charge current, it picked five amps. I don't, I don't do that, it's a 2200, so I'm gonna go down to 22 or 2.2, you know what I mean. Everything's awkward upside down, so excuse my strange button pushing. I think that's it, you can save it. I don't know, let's save it for fun. I don't know why. I guess save it in that spot. Yep, it saved it in that spot. And then we'll start it. So there we go. Guess that's to let you know it's starting. Timer started, 11 seconds in. All right, here's your capacity count in the bottom. Let's choose the cells. You can look at the individual cells where it was at. It was already pretty well charged. Let's check on our other battery pack, how it's doing. It's looking good. Click on the cells. It's bringing them up a little bit at a time slowly. Go back. Internal temp 31C, I don't know, but so far it's Put 127 milliamps into it. Voltage is at 15.2. Oh, it says end. That must have been what the other beep was. Maybe that one was finished. 507. Yeah, it's not counting anymore. Okay, so that one is done. This one is still going. I don't fully know what the graph means exactly. Um, it's probably the the charge current may be going up and down or something, but um, I haven't figured out where it says exactly what that does, but. All right. Well, since that one's done, I guess we'll just go ahead and stop that one. So that one is safe for next time. Unplug and plug. Good deal. Okay. Um, back. Let's just look through the settings again. So public settings, channel one settings. You can set some limits for stuff. You can calibrate things. Same thing for channel two. Buzzer, low input voltage, AC power, balance speed is normal. Exit. Memory. So we've only saved just the one so far. I can't read what that bottom one says. Oh, different languages, English and other things. Anyways, so channel one is still rolling. And we'll just let her go. Um, yeah, pretty cool. We're up to 88 milliamps in there already. You can see it's getting pretty full. There's 77 to 80 percent on the cells. Gotta love it. So this thing is super cool. Uh, let me try to zoom you in here. Get that charger in your view. Just, I can't say how good that screen is. Easy to touch, easy to read. So, pretty happy with that. So, if you guys have one of these, let me know down below in the comments what you think of it. Um, yeah, this is going to be great. So now I can charge a couple of my... Uh, batteries at a time for the X-Max. Make sure you check out that video and all the links for everything down below in the description. 
Don't forget, I just launched my merch store recently, so make sure you check that out. I've got a lot of cool stuff coming. Maybe do some specialty shirts and, and stuff in the future. But uh, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for stopping by. Peace.